Welcome to Market Board Videos. Today we're going to do mole calculations. So this is part one of the mole calculations video. It's um, chemistry. The question is how many moles are in, I'm sorry, how many moles of mercury are in 75.0 grams of mercury? The way that I like to do these problems is I always like to make myself a special chart. I call it my no want and formula grid. In the left hand column I list everything that I know. For instance, I know it's 75 grams of mercury. What do I want to know? I want to know moles of mercury. What's my formula? Well, in chemistry you really don't have to memorize formulas. You just have to know how to figure things out. So, anytime I see grams and moles in the same problem, I know that I'm going to go my fr to my friend the periodic table. And if I look at the periodic table, I see that there are 200.6 grams per mole for mercury. So that's all of all I need. I always, when I do these problems, I always start with what I know. So I know I have 75.0 grams of mercury. Folks, you may not want to write grams of mercury, but I'm going to tell you what, that is really the key to chemistry. If you don't like writing it, get over it and start writing it because it's going to make a huge difference to you. So 75 grams of mercury I always multiply it by something. I never try to figure out when do I divide, when do I multiply. In my mind, I always multiply. I want to get rid of grams of mercury, so I'm going to put that on the bottom in the denominator because really this is over 1. It's an invisible over 1, but it's there. And and I want to get rid of it. So whatever's in the numerator, if I put it in the denominator, then I then I can um then I can cancel it out. Grams of mercury. What do I be, I want to be left with moles of mercury. And guess what? Right here I have a little equation that tells me that there's 200.6 grams for every mole. So there is an invisible one next to the word mole. I'm looking at the G and I see the 200.6 is next to the G. So I'm going to put it 200.6 next to the grams right here. And there's a one next to the mole, so I'm going to put one. Now is this really a multiplication problem? No, it is really a division problem. But this helps me figure it out. Everything above the line, everything on the numerator, I multiply together. So I have 75 times 1, that's 75. Everything in the denominator, I, sub I divide by. So 75 divided by 1 is 75. And then I have 75 divided by 200.6. So let's take a look and see what that is. 75 divided by 200.6. And I don't know if you can see that on my screen or not, but using my calculator, I get 0 0.3738 blah 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 goes on and on and on but in chemistry and that's moles of mercury but in chemistry I need to make sure that I use significant figures this number has three significant figures so my answer must have three significant figures so that becomes 0 0.374 moles of mercury the only thing I did was I looked it up on the periodic table that's the only information that I needed that I didn't have in the equation Let's do another problem. Let's say that I want to know the number of moles in 12.5 grams of water. So my no want and formula grid, I know I have 12.5 grams of water. I want to know the number of moles of water. And the only thing, because I have grams and moles in the same sentence, I know hydrogen is one gram per mole. And I know oxygen's about 16 grams per mole. Now, you might see it as 15.999 something. That's fine. I'm rounding. So water is two hydrogens, so two times one, plus one oxygen, so one times 16. So the mass of, of one mole or one gram of, I'm sorry, one molecule of water is 18 atomic mass units, or it's 18 grams for one mole. Now if I look at this, my uh, number with the least number of significant figures is this one, which is 2. I would suggest carrying that out to a third place because you, the number that you were given is in, has three significant figures. And I want to make sure that I don't lose any significant figures. So we're going to say 18.0. Okay? I'm going to do just what I did before. I always write down, first thing I write down is what I know. 12.5 uh, grams of water. And again, if you don't like writing that grams of water, get over it. It's going to make your life a lot easier if you start doing it. I want to get rid of grams of water. I want to be left with moles of water. I know that there are 18.0 grams in one mole. And so I take 12 times 1 divided by 18. 12 divided by, I'm sorry, 12.5. Try and do that right divided by 18, 
and I get 0 0.694 moles of water. Three significant figures, three significant figures, that's great. But let's say instead of moles, I was asked to find the number of molecules of water in that same amount. Now I'm going to hang on to the 0 0.694. If I didn't know that already, I'd have to figure it out, but I do know it. I know that's the number of moles of water. What other, what other number or formula do I have that relates molecules to moles? And it's Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. So I can simply take my 0 0.694 moles of water. I want to get rid of moles of water. I want to be left with molecules of water. Next to the mole I have the number 1. Next to the molecule I have the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Press that into my handy dandy calculator times 6.02 uh, times 10 to the 23rd times 10 to the 23rd. Oops, made a mistake there. Hold on just a second. Delete that number. There we go. And I get 4.18 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. Thank you for watching Marker Board videos.